Hello and welcome to CloudChamp. In this video, we are going to talk about Amazon S3 storage classes. So Amazon S3 is an object level storage in AWS, which lets you store virtually unlimited amount of data. Amazon S3 offers a range of storage classes that you can choose from based on the data access, resiliency and cost requirements of your workload. S3 storage classes are purpose built to provide the low lowest cost storage for different access pattern. So the different storage classes in S3 are the S3 standard for frequently accessed data, S3 standard infrequent access and S3 one zone infrequent access for less frequently accessed data. S3 intelligent tiering for automatic cost saving for data with unknown or access changing patterns and S3 Glacier for archival. Let's start with the S3 standard first. So the S3 standard is used for general purpose and it offers high durability, availability and performance, op performance object storage for frequently accessed data. Because it delivers low latency and high throughput, S3 is appropriate for wide variety of use cases including cloud applications dynamic websites, content distribution, mobile and gaming application. S3 standard storage can be configured at object level. So the key features of S3 standard are it has low latency and high throughput performance designed for durability of 99.11 and even if one of the availability zones is affected, you can still have your data as it copies in your data in more than one AZ. And you can use it for data like cloud native application, website and content distribution. The second storage class is Amazon S3 standard infrequent access. So the S3 standard infrequent access has the same durability and availability as S3 standard. The only difference between them is it is S3 standard infrequent access is used for the data which you are going to access less frequently and this lets you stay, save your cost. The key features are for data that is accessed less frequently, same low latency and high throughput as S3 standard, durability of 99.11.9 across multiple availability zones and designed for 99.9 .9 availability over a given year. And it is used for long term storage backups and disaster recovery. The next storage class is S3 one zone infrequent access. So it is also used for data which are accessed less frequently. The only change in this is the data is not replicated across three AZs. It is only in one AZ. So if the AZ in which your data is stored get loses, you can lose your data as well. So the use cases is for ideal of secondary backups and workload with easily recreatable data and it provides availability of 99.5%. So this is S3 one zone in frequent access. The next is the S3 intelligent tiering. This is the storage class which uses machine learning for automatically transferring your data in different S3 classes according to your data retrieval and it is used for data lakes and applications with changing or unknown access patterns. It is highly available and durable with low latency, high throughput performance, same as S3 standard. The next storage class is S3 Glacier. Glacier are archival storage in S3, which are of three different type. The first is S3 Gla Glacier Instant Retrieval. You can use this for long term digital preservation of data that is accessed once per quarter and in instant retrieval if you retrieve your data you will get the data instantly within seconds. The object size should be minimum 128 KB. It provides durability of 99.11 across multiple zones. The next uh, S3 storage class is S3 Glacier Flexible Retrieval. It is ideal for backup and disaster recovery use cases when large sets of data occasionally need to be retrieved in minutes without concern of cost. And the retrieval times is from minutes to hours. S3 Glacier flexible retrieval is used when it is used for backups and disaster recovery 
when large sets of data occasionally need to be retrieved in minutes without concern of for cost. It is used for archival of data. The last is Deep Archive, which is the lowest cost storage designed for long term retention of data and which you want to retain for 7 to 10 years. The retrieval time is about 12 hours. So if you want to access your data, if you retrieve it, you will get the data within 12 hours. The durability is 99.119 and it is an ideal alternative for magnetic tape libraries. And it is the most cost effective storage class in S3. So these are all the storage classes in S3. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. You can check out the other videos on cloud and DevOps. Have a good day.